Hi. So, uh, yeah, I had a break because my mum went into hospital. She was only there for a very short time, and then she passed away the 24th, which was very sad for me. Um, and... Yeah, so she passed away, and as I say, it was a very sad, sad time for me. But I carried on working because, well, you know, up at the field and that, because I wanted to take my mind off things, I guess. And I had kind of a weird experience on the night that my mum died as well, in my field, which was really weird. And I'll come back to that another time, um, just with this weird little orb. I think it was my mum's spirit coming to see me. I'm kind of more spiritual than religious. Um, anyway, so she passed away on the 24th. Um, this is the 27th of May, as you can see. Um, and I carried on and I'd put the wooden frame up because I was trying to do the the door. I wanted to get the door in. Um, and as you can see, I've still got things to do there. I've got all this stuff in place. I put the timber on the back, 27th of May there, to put the... Uh, air vent on. I got another friend of mine, Andy, to come and give me a hand to do the air vent um, on the 28th. Look, um, and as you can see, we started. I think I start. I always start quite early, so it says 10 to 1 there. Um, but I actually probably started about 8 o'clock as I always do. I probably started earlier than that. Um, that was at 4:01. In the afternoon on the 28th of May, we were still putting the air vent on the back. That's at 8.55 p.m. Because um, it was a long day and it was nice. Oop, sorry. And it was nice to, to get it all finished. Um, so... There we go. This is on the 30th of May. It's just a view of the back and looking into my field with my pallet area where I've done the pallet fence there. Um, made a little window. You can see my polytunnel all set up there with the wooden trim around and the, the back vent on that we did on the 28th. This is the 31st of May. And as you can see, I was trying to get all the, the doorways finished um, because on the 1st of June, uh, we put the plastic on the polytunnel, as you can see. And I had to get uh, some help from uh, the people in my brother's shop. My brother uh, was a very rare day for my brother to turn up, but he came up and helped, along with um, some of the lads from the shop. Um, and uh, some of my friends came and helped, and we all put the plastic on together. There we go, and you see, so the plastic went over the top. We had to put all the trim in and all the wood in place, and I'd done that from after my mum died up till the 28th, well, the 30th. Um, this is still the 1st of June. This is the first day that we'd put all the top on, but we hadn't got the doors in place. Uh, we'd made the doors up, as you can see, on the floor inside. It's on the 1st of June. Um, 8.30 p.m. Long days, you see, when you're building a polytunnel. Uh, 1st of June, there we go. And so this is what a polytunnel looks like. Ooh, um, there, that's what a polytunnel looks like with the plastic just put on. No doors on, on the 1st of June. Anyway, that's the end of this next bit. Cheers.